Hi everyone, a warm welcome to all. Today it's about the sun. Sun's transit to the transformative sign of Scorpio from 16th November to 15th December. Sun will cross its debilation and enemy sign of Libra and get into the friend sign of Mars, the chief of an army of the solar system to discuss some most complex matter. As in Scorpio sign, the rays of the sun are touching deep down to put some light in the area where we normally don't go, where there is darkness, fear, some hidden truth, mystery, some secrets on which this transit sun will throw some light and reveal them. We also have upcoming lunar and solar eclipse in Taurus Scorpio axis to support this. Scorpio is a water sign. So mostly there will be revelation on emotional front. The awareness about the house significance of Scorpio sign in our chart. There is brave, determined and aggressive force of Mars being the Lord of Scorpio. Mars will provide all the needed protection and enough boldness to make any major transformations. The direction of Scorpio sign is southwest and the ruler is Rahu, who has the tendency to hold on to things. And we have Ketu placed there. So it's a perfect placement to resolve long pending emotional problems, release them one by one. And we have lunar eclipse followed by solar eclipse to support this. Scorpio is a private sign. Normally the tendency is to work behind the scenes. And Sun in Scorpio will make it all expressive. Sun will be very supportive to take you out from any darkness that you are in. Be it mental, emotional or actual. Sun will help you to talk, to communicate and release it. As the job of Sun is to bring light clarity and make us conscious, confident by increasing our understanding. We have Ketu blocking this sun, but once sun will cross Ketu at 7 degrees after the eclipse, nothing can stop sun from doing its job. Any transit to sun will be very important to trigger events and the timeline is fixed every month, every time. Every month at fixed date, sun changes its sign across our natal planets and houses. There is no change. And sun is the source of the light for all the other planets also. They all reflect what they get from the sun. So sun's transit to any sign will impact in some way to all the other planets. And right now, the transformative energies of Scorpio are being passed on to all the other planets also. So the placement of the other planets with respect to the transit sun is very significant to know all our results. And when we talk about the sign of sun, that represents the type of energy that drives us forward. Sun is our stamina, the force behind all our action, expression, our confidence. When sun is in a watery fixed sign of Scorpio, then the motivation behind all of our action is based on emotions, an intense feeling about that matter. The attitudes are rigid. It's a stagnant water, but stagnancy is not the property of water. So it is very important to consciously make alterations to have progress. As the tendency of Scorpio is to focus on keeping things as they are, and keep everything as it is. Make no changes. But when sun transits to Scorpio, it will boost our confidence to make some changes. We can best use it to simplify and transform the most problematic matter. But it is also necessary to go through the constant change that Scorpio sign is giving to reach all our goals. This time, the Scorpio sun is going to be more intense with the placement of Ketu in it. 
Let us see the journey of sun in Scorpio. Sun will be in Vishakha Nakshatra till 20th of November. And Jupiter, the Lord of Vishakha, is at the last degree in Capricorn. And Thor from Scorpio. Jupiter is not strong enough to give some major changes as Jupiter is in the transit mode, changing mode of sign. Then in Anuradha Nakshatra till 3rd of December, Saturn, the lord of Anuradha, also is placed 3rd from the sun. For any task, you may have to struggle, put great efforts and there could be sense of helplessness. And lastly, in Jayashtha Nakshatra till 15th December, Mercury, the lord of Jayashtha, will be with sun and combust, making close conjunction on 28th of November. This will be the most eventful time. As all three of them, the sun, Mercury and Mars, the lord of Scorpio, are together in Scorpio, too much of fixed and rigid energies are there. And there can be stubbornness in your approach for resisting any change and flexibility is the key here. Then Sun will conjunct Ketu on 24th November, Mercury on 28th November and Mercury will be combust here. Expect confusion and lack of confidence with this connection and it is best to lay low. Do your own research, introspect and then acceptance would do the rest. Mercury will be 12th to Sun till 21st of November and Mars will be 12th to Sun till 5th of December. The Lord of Scorpio Mars 12th to Sun indicates only to give away, let go and release whatever is not working for you. Also, we have Sun aspecting Rahu and Rahu is in Sun's Nakshatra. It could be very eventful time. If you have been working on something, then during this time, in the initial degrees of Sun, up to 10 degrees, the matter will be exposed. Good or bad, anything will come out in front of everyone. As Sun will have spotlight on Rahu. Sun will have solar eclipse on 4th of December at 18 degrees of Scorpio in Jayashtra Nakshatra and will cross Scorpio Gandanta by 14th, 15th of December. Eclipse and Gandanta both can work as great opportunity to release all those baggage which we have been holding since very long and not able to release. With Scorpio Gandanta, we can also release any obsession of our life and get rid of that permanently. What you need to check is the house placement of sign Scorpio in your chart. You can also check your natal sun from this transit sun. There is rebirth of something where Scorpio is placed in your chart. Ultimately, sun will bring awareness on what needs change renovation or restructuring. I'll be sharing the areas for each ascendant where something can go down and will rise again giving you hope for good. Start with Aries. Aries may experience some sudden changes within family or finances. Be cautious on the health matter, inheritance or any tax related matter. Taurus may improve the way they deal with others. They may try to be friendly, confident and avoid any ego clash which is very likely with a partner or in your business. Gemini will be health conscious and there will be chances of you getting frustrated often with others. Being calm and composed will be necessary to avoid any fights and debates. Cancer, this transit will make you popular for your creativity, your dedication towards your responsibilities, your work. Your health will get better and you will shine in the area of your work. Leo will be very secretive and private in their approach. But this time can be best used in educating or doing some research. Focus on your career 
and matter related to property, vehicle may go through some changes. Virgo will deal with sudden traveling, changing in their style of writing or communication style and documentation or anything that is related to government will be in the focus. Libra will be more controlling about their possessions, family and finances. They may change their diet for good health and will be gentle in their communication. Scorpio will be the strongest. They may lead or initiate something. Their health, personality will shine and will have great energy, confidence and optimism. Sagittarius will be very mysterious, trying to hide but surely they are using their time to do some research and learning on health matter, their diet and be careful with their investments and expenditure. Capricorn, some changes in their network, friend circle and you will be at your best among your circle. You will have the support of nearly everyone. Time for rewards. Aquarius will be in the public eye with their strong image and changing the entire game of their career. You will be at the center stage and will show your capabilities. It is important for you to have work-life balance. Pisces, you will be ready to share your learnings, giving advice to others, transforming your worldviews and expanding your horizons and giving your bit to others. That's all for all 12 ascendants. To sum up, Scorpio has inbuilt power to heal, to create and to transform. Scorpio is a sign of darker side of life, also some hidden treasure. It's deep, which may require leap of faith, some transformation or rebirth. And that's not ending, just changing its form. Scorpio sun encourages to restructure our expressions, our action, and how we roll with those changes that will determine our sustainability and our progress. Scorpio Sun will provide the passion, the desire and the needed confidence while dealing with any strong emotions. Just be flexible. Take care of your ego, aggression and obsession with this transit and also be watchful on your emotional responses to any sudden changes that may come with this Sun and Scorpio. Best wishes to all. Hope this was helpful. Do write in your comments and queries. Thank you for your time and check out this channel for more such updates. Thank you. Bye for now.